in this tutorial we will solve some of the exercises we will be creating this object this one this one and one more this one let's start with first object click on new select sketch ok for this at first we will create this shape and we will give dimensions later on click on line give the first point give the second point take care that it shows H for horizontal line otherwise it will create inclined line and V for vertical line and create the desired shape then click scroll twice to come out of the line command then give the dimensions now here it is 30, 20, 25 now here dimension is not shown to give the dimension click on this normal select the line take your cursor down and click the scroll button then give the length 30 enter then next is this 20 now this gone outside we will set this total length our total length will be 30, 20, 25 that is 75 double click here and give the length of 75 enter give length here here it is 20 dimension is already on click on the line take your cursor down click the scroll now here there is a over constraint actually it has applied the equal length constraint here here is l1 and here is also l1 we don't want these two lines to be of equal length therefore select this equal length constraint and delete it and then give the length of 20 enter then give the vertical length also your vertical length will be total will be 20 15 30 that is 65 double click here and give the total length of 65 then give length to this vertical line click on the line take your cursor away and click the scroll then give the height of 30 double click 30 enter same way this height is 15 double click and give the 15 as we have given this total length of 65 therefore there is no need to give the height of this line same way we have given this 75 therefore there is no need to give the length of this line it will come correct automatically click on save ok then close the line click on file and close start the new file new sketch ok then next is this one triangle of 60 is there take the line command give the first point give the second point give the third point give the fourth point then double click the scroll button to stop the line command double click this dimension and give the length of 60 then this angle now this is a equilateral triangle therefore this angle will be 60 degree double click here and give the angle of 60 degree then here also we will need the angle of 60 degree again click on normal select this line this line take your cursor inside of both the lines and click the scroll button then give the angle of 60 degree now here equilateral triangle is created to stop the dimension click on the scroll button click and hold and drag it inside to place it properly click hold and drag it then pan it the next will be the three circles click on circle give the center point take your cursor outside click there click create all the three circles give the center point and give the radius point then click scroll to stop the circle command now here diameter will be 20 20 and 30 double click give the diameter of 20 now these two circles have equal diameter you can use this equal constraint click on this circle and this circle so their radius or diameter will be same then diameter of this circle will be 30 double click at first click the scroll to stop the equal length constraint you will have to click 
scroll two times to stop the equal constraint then double click and give the diameter of 30 you can drag it and place it at a desired position the next will be inside circle this circle is touching these three lines for that click on the arrow near the circle and select this three tangent then click on all the three lines this line this line and this line click scroll to stop the circle this drawing is also ready save it ok and close it click on file close again click on new sketch ok the next is this one there are two center lines are there at a gap of 90 click on this center line give the first point second point again give the first point give the second point first point and second point then click scroll button give the gap of 90 double click here and give the gap of 90 enter then zoom minus and pan it then create the circles click on the center and point give the center point give the first point again center point second point create all the four circles then click scroll button then give the diameters here it is 60 40 this will be 60 this is the 40 then next is this one is 40 and 20 this is the 40 and this is the 20 zoom it and it then there are tangent lines here for that click on the arrow near the line and click on this line tangent select first circle select second circle again select first circle select second circle and scroll and we don't need this inside arcs for that click on this delete segment and remove the unwanted arcs then zoom it here rotate scroll towards user then zoom fit again zoom here remove it then again zoom fit and close it again new sketch ok then next is this one this is a rectangle of 100 by 30 take the rectangle command give the first point give the second point then click scroll button then give the length of 100 and width of 30 then drag the dimension outside then create the center lines click on center line give the first point second point again same way from here take the reference of this midpoint and create the horizontal center line click scroll button Give the gap of 30 here, enter, then again here also 30. Then create the circles of 20 diameter. Take the circle command, give the center point, click the point, give the center point. Now while creating this circle, when you take your cursor away, it will show the equal radius that is R1, R1. At that point, you will have to click there so that it will create equal radius circle. Then click the scroll button. Then give the diameter of 20. And as we have automatically applied the equal radius, this radius will be the same like this circle. Therefore, there is no need to give dimension to this circle. This is also ready. Save it and close it. Again, new sketch. Okay. Then next is this one with ellipse. Here is the ellipse of 120 by 80 dimension. Take the ellipse command. We will create ellipse using center axis ellipse. Give the center point. Then take your cursor away. Ensure that it shows the edge. That means this line is coming horizontal. Give the third point. Click the scroll button. Then double click and give the major diameter of 120. Enter. And vertical diameter of 80. Enter. Then drag this dimension and place it at empty space. Then there are these two circles are there, 60 and 30 diameter. Create the circles from center point. 
then click the scroll button then give it 60 diameter and here it is 30 diameter then next is this circles at a distance of 100 that is 50 from the center create center line for location give the first point give the second point click the scroll button and give this gap of 50 and this gap of 50 then take the circle command give the center point give the other point again center point catch here the equal radius and click there click the scroll button then give the diameter of 10 10 enter this is also ready click on save ok and close the drawing click on new sketch ok then next is this one the star for this star we will create this shape one side of shape and then we will mirror it click on the arrow near the line take the line chain give the first point second point then third point will be vertical next point is horizontal and again inclined line then click the scroll button again click the scroll button then give the length here it is 30 then here it is 20 then we will create one reference horizontal center line click on center line from this point give the horizontal point then click the scroll then give the angle between this line and this line the angle will be half of 60 that is 30 take the normal click on the center line click on the line press scroll inside the two lines give the angle of 30 degree enter next will be this length is also 20 double click on it give the length of 20 then length of this line will be 30 click on the line take your cursor outside and click the scroll button give the length of 30 enter then again angle with this vertical line will be 30 because this total angle is 60 create vertical center line give the first point give the second point click the scroll button then give the angle click on normal click on this line click on this vertical line then click the scroll button inside these two lines and give the angle of 30 degree now this one side is ready click the scroll button to stop this dimension tool then click on mirror click on the mirror line this vertical line again select all the object again click on mirror select this horizontal line that's all all the objects are ready thanks for watching we will stop here